Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Fran of Fantastic Pins and today it is March 14th, which means it is Pi Day, but it's also Pi Day. So excuse my rather cheesy intro. Um, today is a first of its kind on Fantastic Pins. I'm doing my first ever baking collab. Miko, excuse me, Miko. If I was baking for other people, I would be more aware of my cats climbing everywhere, but since this is just for me and Jacob, it's fine, okay? <laughs> All right. So today we're doing my first ever baking collab video. This collaboration is hosted by Jen and family over at Life Joyfully Done. She got a bunch of us Disney YouTubers to come together to post today on Pie Day baking Disney inspired pies. So they could be pies that are made from the parks or any type of pie that has a Disney twist on it. And so today I'm going to attempt to make red velvet Mickey shaped whoopie pies. The only thing that I've ever really baked is banana bread, which is like, you can't go wrong with baking banana bread. So, um, I, and then I also did try to like make homemade cookies. I just wouldn't consider myself a baker. I'm just really bad at like getting things exact. Like cooking is easier cause it's like you can adjust, but like baking, you have to like get it right. So I got this whoopie pie recipe from Disney Dishes blog. They also have a whoopie pie recipe for pumpkin flavored whoopie pies. I definitely am more of a red velvet person so I decided to go with their red velvet recipe. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so down here I have all my ingredients and I have my trusted iPad here with the recipe. So the first thing we have to do is set my oven to 375. So I'm gonna walk over and do that. Hey, stop. All right, cream together the unsalted butter and brown sugar with an electric mixer. Dang, I forgot to take my butter out. Okay, so unsalted butter, we're gonna do 3 4th cup. This mixer here, by the way, Lorenzo gifted it to me. He's the best. This is a lot of sugar. All right, one cup sugar. In goes the butter. One teaspoon of vanilla. Let's see what happens now. Drop the egg in there. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just using the Whole Foods version. That and then let's let's see what happens here. So now we're gonna do flour. We need two and a fourth cup. One teaspoon each. Baking soda, baking powder. Cocoa powder and salt. Cocoa powder, powder we need a fourth cup. So our wet ingredients are mixed together. Our dry ingredients are mixed together. The next thing we have to do is combine the buttermilk and the red food coloring in here. Three fourths cup of buttermilk. So guys, tell me, what have you guys, what's been your favorite Disney thing these days? Are any of you going to a touch of Disney? Are you guys excited about the news of Disneyland opening up soon? I think Disneyland has a lot to do with like updating their app and them getting like the reservation system all together. So hopefully they take care of that. I just got red food coloring all over fingers but hey so we need one tablespoon oh this food coloring Damn. so there's that and then we have to stir this that together so I'm just gonna use my I don't know I should be using a spoon but I had a knife here so we're just gonna use it it is what it is people 
All right, so here is our buttermilk mixture. What we're gonna do now is start to combine everything into this mix mixer. So we're gonna do half of the dry, then we're gonna add all of the buttermilk, and then we're gonna add in the rest of the dry. I think that's half. Let's do that. All oh, the cocoa flying in the air. Guys, I am not meant for baking. guys I think I did it I think this is just what it's gonna be so here we have our mixture here so I'm just gonna take the batter out and we're gonna put it into the Ziploc bag because I don't have pastry bags so this is gonna be our pseudo pastry bag for today I am oh she is a hot mess today I think my issue with this mixer or just with baking in general is one it requires a lot of practice and then also patience so like I was really worried about the batter not mixing correctly but then after I waited a little bit and just kept spinning the bowl it looked fine and then let me give you a close-up of what the batter looks like so the consistency feels just about right I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here let me just wash my hands A bag a nice Iron Man red all right you guys I'm back with my baking sheets and my pseudo pastry bag we're gonna go ahead and snip the corner here it's starting to come out Why didn't I just go for a regular pie? Who do I think I am? What's gonna matter most at the end of this is that they taste good. If they taste terrible and they look terrible, then it is what it is, right? I was able to fit six. Oh my God, they look like little bears. Okay, and I do have more batter. So if these turn out terrible, like in shape, I can try a second round. Let's put these in the oven. Let's see how this turns out. Two hours later. All right, you guys. The last half an hour <laughs> has been traumatic. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but you guys are gonna laugh at me so hard. And it's okay. I am totally here for your entertainment. I had to do three batches because I did not understand like why my Mickey heads were looking like three head bears or something like so let me just show you what I'm talking about. First of all this was my first batch. I know what you're thinking. They look nothing like Mickey heads. They look like freaking bears and then like what the hell happened to this one? Oh my god. You could tell like I pressed this too early to see if it was ready and it wasn't and then these two were the best for my second batch but this looks like like that's like a third ear finally going on to my third batch I think I finally got the hang of it I think this one is my best one but I do need another one for the other side of whoopie pie I'm gonna use one of the failed ones the failed ones to taste test Alright guys, there's the inside of my whoopie pie, close up on the side cam. Alright, time to taste test. Oh god, I hope at least it tastes good. It tastes good. It tastes good. Jacob's not a huge fan of cakes and frostings in general, um, so I don't know if he'll like this, but it's pretty good for me. I would probably attempt to make my own cream cheese frosting next time because I got regular frosting. So yeah, that's the only difference. But anyways, thanks friends for hanging out with me today. I hope you check out all the channels listed below to see what other pies were made to celebrate Pie Day. 
And as always, we will be back with more videos around Disney, pins, unboxings, and hopefully some park stuff in the near future. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you love this type of content. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a fantastic day.